Hello everyone, thank you for choosing Lucky MC as your hosting provider. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to install custom jar files to your server. Um, jar files are basically the code that the server runs off of, I guess. I don't know how to explain it simply, but that's basically what it is. Um, we have, there's a ton of different types. Uh, I'll have this website in the description. It's the one that I personally use to um, get my jar files since it's a lot faster than going straight like to the directly to their website because this just gets it from their website there's no like messing around in between uh this website has bedrock modded proxies servers and vanilla uh you can run any of these or bait no i'm not going to say any of these but you can run basically any of these with our free plan except for modded because modded servers require a lot of ram and the free plan does not have enough for that but other than that, you can run any of these jars. I personally recommend Paper. Paper is just one of the fastest. It's one of the best for um, smaller servers that don't have like five gigabytes of RAM to be allocated just for the creation and stuff like that. We're gonna be doing 1.19, so I'm just gonna click download. Uh, it might take a second. Sometimes uh, it will say this file could potentially harm your computer. That's just because Google has like a built-in thing where they don't like .jar files. You can disable that in your settings, which I have done, that's why it doesn't happen for me. But if that does come up, just click keep, and then, yeah. Uh, you can take it over to your server, go to your file manager. You can either drag and drop it into there, like this, or, um, actually this will take a second, so I'll be back when it's done, because jar files are pretty large compared to other things. Never mind, that only took like half a second. <laughs> but you can either drag and drop it, or you can click upload. Uh, downloads and there's your plugin I mean, not your plugin sorry your jar file uh, right here you can just either click the three dots or you can right click on it rename and then keep the dot jar at the end make sure the dot jar is there you can change the words in front of it to server and that's all you have to do you can either click enter or click rename or click rename and there you go you now you have a jar file um, if you want to change the default so if you don't want it to be server.jar if you want it to be like spigot.jar you can head over to your network tab or not sorry your, your startup tab um here you can change everything about your startup um if you're doing your own you don't have to worry about minecraft version or build number that's only if you're uploading your own though um here's your server.jar file you're going to change server.jar to whatever you want it to be so if you want spigot.jar now you have spigot.jar and you can also change your docker image but uh i think it's 1.18 and higher it might be 1.17 require java 17 and nothing lower and stuff like and then like this like maybe like 1.8 runs on java 8 and stuff like that so since we changed it to spigot.jar we're going to go to our file manager rename this to spigot.jar it doesn't matter you can make it anything as long as this matches with this that's all you need to worry about Gonna go here and click start a uh, world creation does take a little bit especially for the newer versions since they have to load so many chunks the chunks are so complicated and stuff so i'll be back when it's finished it will pop up saying this you have to accept this because it's basically the terms of service of having a server and here we go it's finished um it says has all the information it when your server's starting up it just gives you everything so if there's an error uh, you can create a support ticket in our discord and we can help you out with that and just send us the error or your server ID and then file manager logs you can get your error from here and just send it in to us um, in order to join your server you click on you can either highlight it or you can just click it copies it to your clipboard uh, you can go down over to minecraft we're gonna add server uh, paste it in name does not matter it can be whatever you want we're just gonna call it test Add it in. It's the same one. Just gonna delete that one. And then here we go. Uh, your your icon. I'm not sure why it's like that for me, but it'll usually be like this one, just the gray thing. But you can change that. Uh, I'll have the link to the video for that in the description. But you can connect to the server, just like that. Now we're in the server. You have our server. Um, in order to actually use the server, you'll have to go into the console and type slash op. Now I just went through and uh, got rid of my IP from the console because. Every time a player connects, it shows their IP address, and you don't really want to show that on YouTube. So I'm just going to do slash op, and then your username. It can be, as long as it's your username, it doesn't matter. Look, I can do notch, it'll op 
whoever you can up. Now you can do all the commands, get more creative. I have, a, I have a tutorial on how to do plugins on the channel as well, if you wanna learn how to do that. And yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, if you found this useful, uh, let us know by liking and subscribing. That helps out the channel a lot. Uh, if you have any issues with your server, let us know in the Discord and we'll try to help you as soon as possible. And yeah, thanks for watching.